Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Areas tagged of interest to you. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. The nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? Welcome to Serta. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Some place unsecured. I could have All a gun profits from I sales go to help I new know. medical research. Wherever you transfer me, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. Serta is a non-profit organization no, dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient oh, life. Well, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Be safe. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in Turian colonies. Fighting is said to have reached Kalaman. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freyland. Narrow splints still the best course of action. According to the Council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. Hi, Doctor. Did you expect to see you again so soon? Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? Some bad news. You spotted the Medigel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your legs below the knee. What? But I, I, I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. It would. Ash. Hey. It's Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Always were. It scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. 
I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force.
Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. You're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you... We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. 
Thanks.
There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the... Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall, one by one, if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa Bint seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. 
What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? The same thing I've been doing for the past three years. Find a way to stop the Reapers. Get some help, Kalisa. I have work to do. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. Cerberus built the Normandy SR-2 as a second-generation version of the Alliance frigate. say when we're deploying or where or why but you're on the normandy right i saw it dock it was last seen on earth did commander shepherd escape he did didn't he so why would he be here unless he's seeing the computer? what's going on here commander just who i was looking for diana allers alliance news network i think we can help each other i suppose you want an interview even better I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> Commander Shepard, welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palabin. Reports say not to depend on cars. I'll leave vid messages then, and then you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory, where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. 
Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate.
Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Commander Shepard.
Commander Shepard. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. It was less than ideal. They're shot. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. Wow. Becoming the big info brokers turned you into a real cynic, Liara. I like it. I'm flattered. I think. Meeting with the Council didn't go too well, huh? Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. There's still a lot of people alive down there. I have to remember that. You will. It's the war we warned everyone about for years. And if I know you, Shepard, you'll make them proud. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. And your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It'd have better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, 
took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry.
Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Commander, come to check on your new recruit? Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Carry on, Specialist.
Oh, no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. officer. Straight ahead and around the corner, past the first barricade. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Vardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower. To the... The left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go!
Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah! Let's take them! got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard up. You got. As your partner said, succession is usually simple, but right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. 
Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay. Let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing drops off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Just me? But those reapers look like Turians. Right. They do. I think we're done here.
What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out? If they'd only listen to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. That it's not surprising. So, Commander, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Tolarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. taking this Primarch from me. Right behind you!
been a brutal fight this time. But the tide's turning. Turn up the heat. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A uh, commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. 
This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Archura's station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire Second Fleet to provide cover for the Third and the Fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The hour appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's gonna be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the Archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the Elusive Man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The Elusive Man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. Is wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. 
Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me. But I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Seeing the same numbers myself, they don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. 
I'm sure it will, sir. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape.